Hey everybody, welcome back to Winless Effort Plays The Binding of Undertale underneath my incredibly cozy blanket tent thing that is how I soundproof things. It's it's hilarious to me how this incredibly like juvenile solution just happened to be exactly what I needed. I I don't know. There's there's no reason for me to find it so funny, but it just is, you know? I mean like I'm an adult. Well, I'm a legal adult. I don't know why I do the kid things like this, but then I do, but then I'm just like, well, at the same time, I am trying to make playing video games into a career. Which is definitely possible. Alphys, okay. Sure. Which is definitely possible, which is why I'm still doing it. Anyway, hi, hello. How, how, how's everybody doing? I have not showered in like two days because I haven't had any reason to. I haven't been going anywhere. Oh, an XL floor, really. I haven't been going anywhere, so I haven't bothered showering in a couple days. So my hair is doing this neat thing called falling in front of my face constantly and without regard for my personal safety or well-being. Chocolate milk, huh? Okay, so this does actually work with, with Metaton. Alphys. Alphys, your face! Alphys, your face! What happened to you? How could this be? How could this be and stuff? Crunch. So Shrink Shot is actually pretty cool. It's... It's an item that you really rarely, rarely, rarely see, but it's pretty neat. I mean, like, see the teeny tiny little fly there? I could stomp on it. You can actually, you can, like, stomp on, um, shrunk enemies. It's pretty cool. Oh, excuse me. I ate some cereal for breakfast. And by breakfast, I mean that meal that you eat when you accidentally woke up at 1 p.m. That was really dumb. When you accidentally woke up at 1 p.m. and you didn't feel like getting anything else. What the- oh. I just got caught on a rock. <clears throat> I ate some cereal for my for my lunch, didn't breakfast. For my I'm a lazy piece of crap and so this is what happens <laughs> meal. And um Well, I don't know, the cereal's not really agreeing with me so far. But that's okay. That's okay. It shouldn't matter that much. Ooh. So how are you guys liking the two videos a day format? I ask because it's something that I, I would like to start doing more seriously, and, and probably doing more than two videos a day, but for, um, more than just this game. And, like, at the same time as it's something I really want to do, it's something that's also kind of really difficult. <laughs> it's a lot of, it's a lot of effort and a lot of energy, like, more than you might realize. Can I actually just not hit this thing? There we go. It's kind of a tight squeeze having to deal with pulling something behind me that shoots. Maybe I should stop actually, like, spamming spamming shots. Eh, why would I stop doing that? That's what I like to do, right? That's why Zoe Milk is so good. <laughs> Zoe Milk is so good. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I can totally hit this. Totally doable. Come on. Come on. You're so close. You're so... You're so clo- Fine. Fine. Be that way. See what I care. You jerk. Don't want to work with me? That's fine. I, I have nothing against you. Mostly. Larry Jr. I don't know who the next boss is, so I'm going to save my charge on um, Box of Friends for that. And I think I can probably handle this without needing it. Probably. It's not to say it's going to be a perfect fight, but it'll be- Oh, no, no, no. It's a perfect fight. Yeah. Yep. Rapid fire! Just to destroy the poops and get them out of my way! Okay, we're good. Damage range. Oh, it's just Monstro. Wow. I think I, I think I kind of needed the charge on Box of Friends more for the double Larry- for, for, well, Larry Jr. Champion. Green Champion Larry Jr. So this is just- this is just kind of like, well, I guess I- That's okay, though. Whether or not I, didn't, I made any right or wrong decisions doesn't really matter, because I won anyway. Uh, let's see here. What do I want to, what do I need to do with Alphys? I'm gonna go to the core. Which means, hmm. I'm only thinking about this because I'm not really sure if I really need to lock in rooms with, the, with flowery, devil, like, devil rooms, flower rooms. Considering this is, like, pretty poor as far as my choices go. Oh my god, I cannot do the double play. Fine. Really? Wow, what a jerk. Well, I'm gonna take this. 
So now I have locked in deals with Flowey, which is fine. It's basically what I would have wanted anyway. I mean, gen generally speaking, devil deals are far better than angel deals. Devil, devil rooms, angel rooms. Whatever distinction you wish to make. Like, getting getting deals with the devil, you can get actual damage ups. <laughs> I know I know that the devils with the er devils with the angel with the devil devil blibble blobble. No 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 no. I know that angel rooms or in this mod Toby rooms. I would call them Toby rooms, but they're really more like annoying ass dog rooms, right? I know that those have the potential to give you something incredibly valuable, but like mm, devil rooms are just so much more consistent. Consistent in terms of like valuable payouts, I should say. And that is incredibly valuable, I think. Consistency is a lot more, is, is it's not, I, I can't really definitively say that it's like more important than anything else, any other aspects of this game, but it's definitely something that you need if you're not the best player in the world. Like if your own personal ability to be consistent is easily cool, called into question, like me, then you know. Getting some consistency from the game, where I don't have to supply it, is pretty nice. Alright, well, there's another tinted rock that I somehow managed to completely miss, like, four times. Go me. Okay. Alright, this is, this is a good start, I'd say. Chocolate milk is an interesting item. It can do some really weird things. I'm still not the best at using it, considering my instinct immediately is to just spam. But that actually, like, overall decreases your potential DPS. The best thing you can do, there's like a there's like a certain charge rate that you want to go for or something like that. Where you get optimal stuff relative to like how many tiers you're actually firing. I don't know. I don't really care that much about it. This rerolls Oh, this rerolls the room. So you can do a room over again. Okay. I don't think the D7 is exceptionally necessary, but item collection, you know. That's like my motivation for a lot of things now. Item collection. Item collection this, item collection that. It's all I want to do. Okay. So, it's pretty good so far. I am going to attempt to record three videos of this today, and I'm not really sure how well I'm going to be able to pull that off, but if I can successfully build the habit of recording not two videos a day, but three, specifically of this game, I still have... I still have plans for that, um extra series that I'm going to start soon. Don't worry, I'm still working out some kinks. There's a little bit of... a little bit of technical recording stuff I gotta deal with, but aside from that, I would like to do... record three videos of this a day, so I can... I can build a buffer. Like, that, that was... that was the whole point I made of taking a day off, or at least part of the point of that was to be able to build a buffer of one day, such that if I need to take a day off for whatever reason in the future, I can, and I won't be losing anything. Like, losing any any, um, what's the term? I don't want to say, like, progress. Ooh, wow, that's incredibly lucky. Not, ooh, that was a little less lucky. Not progress, but, like, I wouldn't want to lose, um, the, the habit I would be building, I guess I would say. I, how do I, I wouldn't want to lose my ability to follow the schedule that I've set for myself. Let's go with, let's go with that. So, getting that buffer is really important, and gives me a little bit of wiggle room. If I can record three videos a day, I can consistently, over time, keep increasing the size of the buffer. Which means if I really need to, I can take more days off in the future. And you know, I have, I have those... What is that buzzing sound I hear? It's not my computer for once, it's like coming from outside the house. It might be a plane passing overhead, never mind. But, um, what was I saying? I managed to completely forget what I was talking about. What was I talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about. Shoot. Well, I'm taking this. Steam sale is pretty good. I don't think I need it. What was I talking about? Consistency. Um, recording three videos a day. Right, right. So if I do that... It'll take me just two days to get an extra day's worth of videos made, and then two more days for another extra day's worth of videos, and you see where it's going like that. So eventually, eventually, after a little while of, you know, repeating this process with three videos a day, etc., that I record, after a little while, 
I will actually hit a point where I could, in theory, justify taking like a week off. And the reason I'd, the reason I'd want to build a buffer this large, this is like a really irritating room, by the way. Freaking. The reason I'd want to make a buffer this large is because I, I still have plans to like go visit my parents sometimes, and I'm gonna have days where I'm just too busy to do anything else. I'm eventually gonna find a job, and when I have a job, I won't have as much time to record. So you know, having that buffer is gonna give me a nice little bit of. Leeway! Oh, that was just 12 varieties of unfortunate right there. It's gonna give me a little bit of a we a little bit of leeway. Alright. Um I think I'm good here. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna try to do. I unfortunately woke up very, very late today, and so I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to maintain the energy to record three videos, but even if I only get two done, you know what? That's fine too. I don't have to do three in a day. It's just something that I would very much prefer over the alternative. The alternative being not two a day, at least. <laughs> Although, hey, if I record three today, then I could record one tomorrow, right? Right? That's that's the logic. That's the reasoning I'd have. Mm -hmm. I should have used two of spades first, but that's okay. Because Libra. Bam. 20 keys. Don't mind if I do. What could you be? Something useful? A two room. All right. This rec this rerolls. This basically functions as a d20, I believe. <clears throat> Just a one-time use, but it's still pretty valuable. I'm gonna take the nickel, and I'm gonna reroll everything else. Cool. I think that was probably pretty worth. Depends on what this is. Two of diamonds. Yeah, that was pretty worth. Okay. Nice. There is there there the, the the two key rooms still have some merit. I know a lot of people are just like, eh, they could have a build reroll, which could completely ruin my run. <laughs> I'm not speaking from experience about that. Why would I do that? But um They can also have some pretty nice payouts like that. Entirely luck, mind you, but still still valuable. And of course I still have Humbling Bundle, which means anything I would get would be far better than the alternative. Why you gotta be shrunk where I can step on you and then be tracking creep? I don't appreciate that. Okay. Oh. Fine. This is a, potentially a little bit of a stressful room. Considering how many of these damn flies there are. Am I one-shotting them with, with the fully charged chocolate milk shots? Damn, I think I am. Not, not including, um, multi-dimensional babies. Multi-dimensional baby buffs, of course. Just replace all the consonants with the letter B. And then it's fitting. Bull B, ba bam bubble bobble bibble bobble buffs. There. Bubs. There you go. Of course. You want alliteration? <laughs> Let me just take it one step further. And turn literally all of the consonants into the same letter. That... That would be, like, some kind of weird-ass linguistic bizarreness. It's, um, it's performance art. It's a poem that I wrote that features exclusively the letter B over and over and over again. And you know what? There's probably some literary snobs out there who would eat that up. I don't know. Would, would, would the fact that I believe that be considered a form of satire on, like, the, like, um, like the subject of linguistics and stuff? Linguistics, poetry, English. That's the weird thing about that stuff, is it can go deeper and deeper and deeper and never end. Oh, you actually jumped at me for once? What? Those enemies never do that. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed, I'm dead. <laughs> I swear, I swear, when I'm old enough... Well, not even when I'm old enough, it's just whenever I have kids, if I choose to, with, you know, with whomever, god damn, I am gonna be like the... I'm gonna be the monarch of dad humor. I'm so good at dad humor, I just... I don't usually get opportunities to use dad humor, like, when making videos, because, you know, there's no one responding to me, other than me. So the dad humor type of stuff is usually lost. It's almost always situational. You can't really do much with situational type humor when there's no situations. So I am still playing like shit and taking some of the worst damage ever because I'm bad. 
or because of whatever reasons. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's some, some valid rationale I could use. You, you just played chicken with me, bub. You lost for once. How does it feel? How does it feel, friend? Probably pretty awful. Actually, it probably doesn't feel like anything considering the thing is dead now. That's really morbid. I'm sorry. Um, pay to play. Pay to play is pretty useful, but I don't think I need it with Humble Bundle. So instead, I'm gonna pop two diamonds. I'm gonna buy this. Might as well buy this too. Eh, Hangman could be useful. And I'm going to replenish some of the money that I that I took from Temi last time. <laughs> Even though it's a run that I failed, I still took money from Temi. Like the asshole I am. Okay. That's some pretty good progress back towards what it needs to be. Um... Hmm. You know what? Let's see what this is. The Fool. I... I hit the wrong button! No! I was, I was actually sincerely hoping it was just another Hangman card. <laughs> Dang it. I accidentally hit the hit the wrong button. I, I still have some issues with the control scheme that I set that I had to to actually be able to play this game with this keyboard. If you remember that whole miniature fiasco that I had with myself not too long ago, that's what was up with that. So this is going to be like 12 varieties of negligible. Ah, uh, you would. You freaking would. Okay, well. Hmm. Interesting. It's kind of... Kind of neat. Neat stuff. How these... How, how some of these things interact. Oh, boy. This is gonna be... Fun. I sure do like not being able to directly aim at enemies. That's that's wonderful. That's just like the best thing. The best thing about this item is that you can't directly aim at stuff. You can't directly aim at what's immediately in front of you. God. No, no. I do not like. What an awful room. Who's alive? Oh my god. Stop that. Well, rip deal with the flower. Rip deal with flowey and devil and whatever the fuck you want to call it. God damn, that was some shitty luck right there. First room I encounter in Waterfall just happens to be like eight, eight versions of Teratoma. Eight bits, eight chunks. Eight pieces. Eight sli slices. I almost said halves and then I almost said slices and then I said slabs. Eight slavs. Are you from Slovakia? Is it is it Slovakia now? I, I know at one point, at, at some point in history, it was Czechoslovakia, and then it was, um, and then I believe the country was split into the Czech Republic and Slovakia. I I don't know the exact history of it though. Relatively small European countries' histories don't really. Uh, don't really things that I know very well. This was just... I, I, mm. I don't like this. There is so little that I can do about this right now. Jesus Christ. Alphys, why do you have to be so... the hard to use? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Oh, you know what I did to deserve this? I hit random and got Alphys. There you go. That's exactly how this works. I am still finding it incredibly difficult to focus as of late, and I don't know why. I guess it's probably mostly due to the fact that with this this blanket over my head thing, I am sitting very, 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 very close to my screen. That's making it... You had to regrow right then. I'm sitting too close to my screen. There's too much happening. I can't focus well. And then Alphys is just really hard to use anyway, apparently. In some of these really obnoxious rooms that should not be a problem normally. But with but with the fact that I have my freaking ugh. 
Why am I so bad with Alphys? I love Lilith. I love Lilith, but I'm shit with Alphys. This makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. Uh, it's very hard to focus in here. It's very hot. I hear myself more than anything else. I feel physically uncomfortable. Uh, sorry. Itchy face. Um. Yeah, one of these days, I'm actually just gonna, like, not use the blanket one day, and then the audio quality from my mic is gonna drop drastically, but that's just what I'm gonna have to do sometimes, I guess. Because recording like this a lot really does make it hard to focus. I can't, I can't, like, I can't see my keyboard. It means I can't actively watch my fingers pushing buttons, which means that I'm very, very liable to hit the wrong buttons a lot. Not pleasant. Not a pleasant experience. Would not recommend. Let's just get this over with. War, come on. Whoa. Alright, fire. Let's see what you want from me. This is probably the first time I've ever fought war in this room and not had any rocks be destroyed as a result of the fight. Impressive, I would say. Probably. Or something. God damn, am I looking forward to the day when I don't need this blanket. Something about it is making me make some really poor decisions lately, and just, ugh. Nah! God damn it. This isn't Book of Revelations. What am I doing? My head feels so hot right now. Lightheaded, I think, is the term I would typically use to describe this feeling. That's that's not not a good time. Would not recommend. Have I not seen the item room? I haven't seen the item room. Where's the item room? No. Uh, could be this way. I have, I have, I have just entirely given up. Alphys, why are you doing this to me? Why do you make me give up so much? Oh my god. I'm having such a hard time, like, connecting my button presses with, what, with what's actually happening on screen, and I don't understand why. There's no reason it should be so difficult for me to follow. Absolutely none, and yet it is. Unpleasant. And to be fair, it's not like this is a spectacular run either. There's basically nothing exceptionally good about it. Nothing good enough that I could feel like I could be re safely, reliably carried. I'm getting some really, really awful room generation! I'm just like, oh hey, um, I'm going to push this button to go left, and then apparently my brain just like, oh no, you're actually going up. Congratulations, asshole. You're a piece of shit. That's how I feel about this run right now. Like a piece of shit. This is not a difficult room. This is not a difficult room. Why am I having trouble? Why is this difficult? This isn't hard. I, I hate everything about everything right now. Oh my 
god. You ever have you ever have those moments when you're when all you can think about is like nothing but how you know you're better than this and somehow you're fucking up everything anyway? You ever have those moments? Why... Why am I unable to play this game anymore? This doesn't make any sense. It's not that hot in here. My arms are cold. The only part about me that's feeling incredible heat right now is my head. And it's not even hot, it's just enough to make me drowsy. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's, maybe it's that it's too warm in here. Not hot, just warm. Just warm enough relative to the rest of my environment that it makes me want to fall asleep. Maybe this is, maybe, maybe, maybe my inability to play this game for the last couple days. Maybe this is, maybe this is happening because I'm just not getting enough stuff in me that provides energy. Maybe, I don't even know. Maybe I need some coffee. <laughs> you know what? I'm fucking done with this run. Thanks for watching. I don't even care anymore. I just, I have lost my entire ability to give a shit about this fucking game. And it's not the game's fault, it's entirely my fault. And I... I'm frustrated because it's something that I know... is wrong with me. And, and yet I can't quite tell what it is that's wrong. And if I don't know what it is that's wrong, I don't know how to fix it. I don't know why things are going wrong. So I can't really tell what is wrong, and so I can't fix what's wrong. I'm just getting lightheaded and drowsy, I guess. I mean, come on, you guys know me. I'm not that bad at this game. But I've just been unable, just, ugh. Uh, if there's one thing I learned from my mom, it's, uh, whether or not it was a conscious learned effort, it's that trying to process problems is, usually, usually involves, like, talking out loud. Just keep talking about it and talking about it and talking about it over and over again until maybe you'll come up with, sol with a solution. Oh, whatever. Subscribe for more or whatever, I don't fucking care right now. Maybe I should just take a break from this game for a little longer than I was anticipating. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I should just say, you know what, I'm going to put this series on hiatus until I can figure out why I'm unable to play and make decisions correctly. Make good decisions. Maybe I should do that. I don't know if I will. Whatever. I hope you guys have a better day than I have.